Now this is one of my favorite techniques. Bruce Lee, the late Bruce Lee, once made a comment to me. He said, the first thing he would always do against anyone in any kind of situation is take away his eyes. I remember when we were fighting in Vietnam. You're coming up on a CP or camp, the enemy's camp. They'd always have a listing pulse or an outpulse up on this hilltop, and they'd have the main uh, body of the enemy down on a, uh, a lower plane. We would always go up on a hill, take away the enemy's eyes first before we'd attack the CP camp. The same thing you want to do in a realistic situation. If the man can't see you, how can he hurt you? Now watch this little move. Whenever I position myself against an aggressor, all right, my assistant today is Jim Graydon. He's a former member of the uh, world champion United States uh, karate team position. One thing I like to do is this. I always like to position my body so that my center line is away from my opponent. My face, my solar plexus, and my groin. Notice it's in the center of my body. And it forms a straight line. A number of your self-fence styles will teach you material like this. Well, I'll show you how to face your opponent, such as if someone were to have a gun on you, and you see this in police manuals, the first thing they'll tell you is raise your hands, and then the first thing you want to do is bring your hands down real fast, grab your opponent's wrist, and point the gun away from you. Now, although I've got my opponent's gun pointed away from me where I can take him into a wrist flex, take his gun away from him, notice the whole time my groin is completely exposed to the front kick. So as soon as I go for his groin, I mean, as soon as I go for his gun, what's going to happen to me? Bam! I'm going to get zapped right in the groin with a front kick or a knee. So whenever you face somebody, you want to deny your opponent access to the target. So one of my favorite ways of positioning against an opponent, and positioning is very important, is... I like to turn my body sort of sideways. Sometimes I'll stand like this with my hands across the groin, my elbows to guard my midsection, and I've got this shoulder up here in case he throws a punch. I can pull it up real fast and guard my face. Or I'll sort of lean back and talk to him. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll cross my arms like this. And notice when I'm crossing my arms, I'm not locking my arms in place where I don't have access to be able to use my arms. I'll take my front arm, which is one closest to my opponent. That's the hand I always want to use first. Economy of motion, less distance to cover. I'll take that front arm and always place that one on top of the other arm. Now notice I've got my groin is protected. My rib cage is now protected. The only thing left unguarded is my face. So sometimes when I'm talking to a person, what I'll do is I'll take my hand. And I use my hands to gesticulate, such as I'll be talking to them like this. Says, Please, I really don't want to fight. Or I'll have my hand up around my face like this, talking to them like, Gee, you know, I really didn't mean to involve you or get involved with this situation. I'll try to calm him down. I'll say things like, I could tell you're really mad. You probably like nothing more than knock my head off, right? See, what I'm trying to do is anesthetize the anger, drain the anger out of him, rather than saying, oh, yeah, you think you can beat me up? Drew, just try it. Now, notice how I'm positioned. Watch me facing you. Notice the groin is protected. My rib cage is protected. My elbows are in front of my ribs. My hand is up in front of my face, so my whole body is now protected. Now, as I start to talk to my opponent, watch my hand come out. Notice how close my hand is now to my opponent as I'm trying to talk to him. My hand is still pretty much in front of my face. Now, watch this movement. Jim, position. As I'm talking to him, I say, Jim, or, or rather, sir, I really don't want to fight. Now, notice how close my hands are to my opponent. It is almost impossible for him to block what I'm getting ready to do. Now, you women who wear rings, you women have long fingernails, or you karate instructors who are teaching your female students or what have you, I always like to go for the eyes first. Now, watch this little movement with my wrist. I'm just simply bending my wrist, and what I'm going to do is with two fingers, I'm going to pop one of the eyes. As I pop one of the eyes, watch how fast it, pow! If you hit one eye, the other eye automatically closes. Notice as I hit the eyes, watch what happens to the body. The head goes back, notice the groin comes forward. Now, watch my next movement, please. I'm going to swing down, pivoting around what we call a soft bow position. Does everybody see the soft bow position? Watch my right hand. It comes down, it swings, either with the heel of the hand or with the fist, either one. I swing it straight back into his groin. Bam! Notice as I hit the groin, what happens to the head of the body? The head rocks back forward. Does everybody see the rocking motion? As the head comes forward, he's presenting me with another target. I swing right back. Notice my knuckles. I bring the knuckles right back up. And I just swing it anywhere at the head. Hopefully, I can pinpoint it and hit the temple. Or I can come across and hit this little carotid 
sinus region here or hit the jawbone as I come back up. Now watch. If you want to practice this technique, get a piece of paper, hang it from the ceiling, hang it from a door, put, cut a little two piece, of, uh, cut a couple little holes in there, or anything at all that you can hang, and just practice flicking with your hands like this. Just get that movement down. And when you do it, try to set before you fire. Just learn to fire that technique from wherever your hands are. If your hands are down here near your pocket, come straight up at the eyes, pow! If your hands are on your hips, straight out the eyes. Your hands are across, straight at the eyes. Your hands are here or from this position here. And at any time, if he was starting to grab or something, start to grab, I could touch and always strike back at the same time real fast. Or if he was starting to grab and I don't have time to go for the eyes, watch this defense position. Just drop down real fast and swing as hard as you can. Wow, right to the groin or the elbow. Bang, straight back to the rib cage. Notice where the heel of my foot is. From here, I can bring my heel straight up into the groin, pow. Or, if I was afraid of him, what I might do is hit the eyes real fast, blind him, take a half step back, kick, and take off running. Now, that is the fastest technique there is in all fighting. And you professional 